everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Susan. Today is December 2nd, second day of the Advent calendar. So we're going to get started on it. So I'm going to be cutting the uh, cover sheet here off. So I'll tell you about my day a little bit. So yesterday uh, was December 1st. I had a migraine yesterday. I didn't eat any, any chocolate the day before. So I don't really know why, other than the weather change is the only thing I can think of that uh, triggered the migraine. So it was pretty bad yesterday. I bit uh, more than what I'm used to. Um, I haven't had one like that in a while, so it was pretty much an all-day affair. So I had to uh, take sick time for yesterday. So I worked from home today. Um, I did my normal stuff, played catch-up on things. Oh, uh, then by the time it was about four o'clock, you know, that's usually when a fire comes up and you're whatever going on and you got to put it out before you leave, but it's not quite put out, but that'll be another thing, another day for Monday. So Monday will be working from home again. This is the guy that worked on a building, had some, he, he had, he's again across the street working on the house. Um, so he came over and fixed some things they had to fix up. In here, he had to restain a um, piece of board um, or re-glue it. I think he had to re-glue it is what he had to do. But anywho, had a little bit of stink going on in here. Um, this was after lunch. So I had to get Les to come out here and spray a little bit of Frig Breeze uh, apple cinnamon scent. So that helped mask um, the, uh, I guess, the stainy gluey scent so i was able to work out here without getting a headache because two migraines in one week's not gonna be a fun for susan so not dealing with that started watching wednesday on netflix um we're only on episode three because i told us it's only eight episodes they're hour long though so they're really good episodes i really like the uh the character she's really dark and and uh crazy you know in this crazy world that she's in and deal with the crazy mess she's dealing with i mean i really i like the I like the show i like what they've done with it and where they're going tim burton does a good job so i can't wait to see how it ends sorry it's like seven o'clock at night so that's why i'm doing the audio that's why last night's video went out when it did because I didn't, um, I didn't get out here until after our haircut, and I was just waiting for the video to upload, so I was just waiting for that to do its thing, and then I just, well, once I got everything lined up together, I said, well, I said it will upload when it uploads, as long as it hits the first, I'm good, so it did, so I was like, yay, I said, I got five views, so like, I was pretty excited, you know. People are starting to watch the advent calendar, so this will be day two. So we're just working it out here. So that's where I'm at, where I'm going. So let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, let's see, watching Wednesday. Oh, I started, um, told you about in December last year, not year before last, when my sister, um, we went, um, over to my dad's house when my mom was in the hospital with COVID. So she, we on my birthday weekend, she uh, um, we watched Love Actually. And like I said, I've never seen that movie, and that's, I think, her favorite uh, Christmas movie. Hulu's got a special with Diane, uh, Diane Sawyer, The 20 Years After Love Actually. So you might want to go check it out if you've seen the movie. So you, um, she interviews like um, a lot of the actor and actresses, um, from the movie about you know how you know things were then and you know how they, what parts they were they're important and and just the um all the um tiktok videos and memes and things for them you know love actually and just get their um the creators you know, res you know reaction on you know the 20 years later, especially during COVID, people were doing, you know, scenes from Love Actually, doing TikTok videos from Love Actually, and it was, um, it was about an hour, an hour, you know, hour video, but, you know, because it's Diane Sawyer, but it was really good. I, I really enjoyed it, um, for a person that only had seen the movie one time before, you know, people were actually, you know, you know doing scenes, you know, from the movie, and, and, uh, you know, 
enjoy the movie so but i don't know like i said i've only seen it one time thought about it trying to find it where i could see i could find it and maybe watch it again but like i said it was my that's my sister's you know favorite movie so or at least her favorite christmas i think it's her favorite christmas movie so yeah i was you know watching that and then um we watched a little bit of Disney Plus's Limitless, the National Choir, I mean National Geographic Limitless, um, helping uh, Chris Hemsworth. Um, he has a psychologist um, helping him with his stress, help, helping him deal with his stress. And, and of the, um, I'm not even through with the first episode, though, but just some of the training exercises that she puts him through. Because what she's going to do in her in the first episode is have him walk out on a crane in Australia. And it's like so many feet up in the air. But he has to walk out across it. And he has all the safety, you know, harnesses and the things like that. It's just but how your body deals with and how your mind deals with um, that type of um, fear. Um, and to get your heart rate down, your breathing down, your mind to control um, your body. So you're having these exercises that you go through to get yourself prepared for when you're dealing with these extreme um, stressful circumstances. And for him, for an actor, it's, you know, he says for him it's the idea of did I prepare enough for this um, reading did I study enough for this part to do my best for this job and then all the insecurities that go with it and he's just you know it's hard to picture and imagine um, you know actors and actresses that go through the parts and things that they do for movies and tv shows that have the same insecurities that you know us little normal people who you know, go to a job and do a job day in day out or you know just those of us that have you know lived and gone on and retired and you know day in day out did you do enough for that day to um you know reap or you know, your reward later in life um just those you know just they put their pants on you have to think they put their pants on one leg at a time just like you do so they still deal with their own insecurities in their head. I mean, it just it's mind blowing to think that you know they that's what they deal with, and for him, it's getting the response down as far as his body's concerned, so he later in life doesn't have heart disease or diabetes or stress because that fight or flight um, response in your body creates uh the the um it's a um shoot i can't think of the net word that's a uh chemical in your body that you know if you can't get yourself to relax and to calm down from that stress that you're feeling it produces more than it's supposed to in the body and that's what leads to diabetes that's what leads to heart disease that's what you know leads to intensive you know anxiety in the body so it's just helping him, you know, to you know deal with that. So I think it's a pretty good um, show to watch, just to you know learn some responses and things, you know, way to handle, you know, a stress, you know, especially in today's world and people are being you know, you know stressed and just in general of just normal things. I mean, so you know that's I started the first episode of that and then i know all these people right now are running around crazy with their heads cut all about this um satan santa claus mess with disney plus all right here's my problem with this that's fine and dandy if you want to say that you're not gonna keep up with your disney plus because it's disney and you don't agree with whatever is going on because i haven't seen the movie tv show whatever it is the uh Elves misspelling Santa and put instead of I love Santa's, I love Satan, and all people up in a war about it. That's what I said. That's fine if you want to discontinue your Disney Plus subscription, knock yourself out. But here's what else you got to discontinue you can't have Hulu, you can't have ABC, and you can't have ESPN because all three of those are owned by Disney. So if you're going to, you know, 
stop using Disney, you got to stop using the other three or else there's no point. You just can't sit here and say, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to support Disney anymore, so I'm not going to play for the Disney Plus. But guess what? You can't watch football on ESPN. You can't watch anything else on ESPN either because you got to boycott that too. So, yeah, if you all about what it is that you feel like, then you got to boycott all that also. And that's just how I feel about it. That's what kills me about people. That's just what kills me. I mean, if you're going to go gung-ho into it, you need to go and go, go gung-ho, but you need to do it right. I think I pulled a sticker off of something, so i got to go find my... Uh, I think I pulled my day sticker off of my picture. My number two. I'm over here sitting here looking at my... Oh, yeah, I did, too. <laughs> well, hopefully I'd be able to figure that out, that that would be two, but that's all right. You're not, I'm recording this course as the voiceover because yesterday I sucked at the recording part. And I was like, I can't do that again. I said, I'm going to have to hold the phone up like I normally do when I'm doing my voiceover. So that's, that's uh, my little um, public service announcement rant for the day. So that's how I feel about that. It's like, yeah, okay, if you want to do that, fine. But you're going to have to do it for real and do it right. That's just what kills me about People just all get all up in arms all about, oh, this company's Satanist, atheist, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to support them. Okay, well, there's some other things you ain't going to be able to support. So as long as you make sure you behave yourself and do what you're supposed to, there you go. So I don't know. It's just craziness. And I'm watching the second season of Upload. So I'm in those... Um, just the third episode I'm, I know that they don't have you know a whole lot of episodes on that either and I'm like um they need to hurry up and do the season three of this um show because this is really good so I know that a lot of people have seen you know upload the um and I've, I've talked about it before but that's what else I'm watching um Disney Dreamlight's gonna have their update and I've told you November 7th, 6th, so November 6th or 7th, so I haven't played any of that lately, I think that's what I'm going to do tonight if I don't go ahead and play, I know DJ is supposed to be off um, tonight and all weekend and all into next week, so I got to get my um, tier passed up um, for Rocket League to get my goal explosion that I want to get, and then I'll be a happy camper because I'll have a new goal explosion until I get bored with it, but you know. It's better than what I got. Well, I like what I got right now because he actually gave that goal explosion to me. So, but it'd be nice to have the spray paint can um, goal explosion in the game. And so, um, going to Coles tomorrow, um, we have two um, cash reward coupons, Coles cash to use, and it's a good chunk of money, and he doesn't want to go to go to a waste and tomorrow's the last day to use it so we'll be using that and i'll probably get me i got the um f um fuzzy socks the like 3.99 fuzzy socks women's socks for i got three pair they're like christmas um christmasy ones and the pair that i have right now is the, um the teddy bear i think it's a teddy bear like in a plaid shirt kind of thing and they're great socks except for the fact that they wear out like the second day that you wear them, I got holes. I mean, you could they're, they're stretch, and they're stretching at their seams, and there's you know that I could stretch enough that I could you know put my finger in it and feel my foot. So I know eventually, especially probably when I wash it, it's gonna probably stretch and then break apart at the seam, and then there you go. There's my three dollar ninety nine cent socks. I get ready to go into the trash because it was a waste of money. So Les wants to get some me some new socks. Um, more like the ones he has that are Christmassy socks, but they won't really be fuzzy socks. But I just need socks at night because my feet get cold. So I like to have, you know, socks on with my pajamas because, you know, like I said, my feet get cold. So, yeah, I'm cold natured, so I just get cold in general. And that was the other thing. I had issues this morning. I couldn't get the um, heat, um, air system out here regulated to where it felt like it was warm putting out the heat warm enough i mean it's i mean probably about all afternoon to get it where it feels right and then so probably about 
around four or five, I guess it was like I had it bumped up to 73 and I was starting to feel like, okay, now it really is 73. So I bumped it down to 72. So it feels like it's 72 now. Um, so it feels like it's right. I mean, with it getting down to the thirties, I need it to you know, be some kind of warm out here. Cause I don't want it to be cold. I don't want to freeze. I mean, that's not the, that was not the point of working out here to be cold. I mean, I had my, um, snuggle my snuggie out here with me so i was wrapped up in that so i was being some kind of you know some warm i mean you can feel the heat come right out of the system it's just i don't know with um it going around the room it just wasn't feeling warm enough so i don't yeah you know, that's just kind of what i had them going on today and it was um sunny it got sunny today you could see it's really good in here so that's always good when it's sunny. I just don't like now with the time change. It gets uh, darker earlier. So, like, when I walk out of here, like, 8 or 9 o'clock, I mean, it's cl um, dark and meet the moon's out and the moon's out. But I still have to use a flashlight just to go across the yard so I don't step in any crazy holes. So, and that's what I'm dealing with, you know, there. And let's see. Talking a little bit much to you here. I'm just trying to think of what all uh, I've done. I mean, this um, every day talking to you is going to be like, well, I'll just talk to you a little bit, and then you'll probably get some um, some music to go with it in your 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. So, um, let's see. I talked about Wednesday. Oh, I started today during lunch. I was going to get it on Paramount and start SWAT because I haven't started SWAT yet because I'm still in that little funk about, you know, Christy... Um, the character, um, the woman character um, from last season leaving, I wasn't, you know, thrilled about that. But I saw that, you know, Criminal Minds has started. So I was like, oh, yeah, I can watch that. So I watched, I watched, started watching that during lunch and got caught up in it and almost missed my coming back to lunch because I was really caught up in it. So I hope to um, finish that sometime, at least the first episode, um, sometime soon here. So that's... Uh, Criminal Minds, that's one of my shows, so I, I watched it. Started watching it probably around, I don't know, I know I didn't watch it in the beginning, um, because I had a friend of mine that was watching it, and she told me about it, and I started watching it when she was watching it, so maybe like the fifth season, I guess, but I watched it to the end, I mean, I watched it all the way to the end, she, she had stopped watching it after, um, Shamal Moore's uh, character left, she just couldn't watch it anymore, so I was still watching it then. After that, so I, like I said, I watched it all the way up until the end last episode and, you know, was sad that it had ended. So I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. I know it's only supposed to be like 10 episodes, so we'll see. You'll see how it is. So I enjoy uh, watching that. So I'm going to stop with the chattering with you, but I am going to do the devotional for today because I told you I was going to do that. Do that every day for you guys. Um, just one of those things. So you'll get 24 days of devotion. So we will start with um, December 2nd. Is His heart went out to him. That's Luke 15, verse 20. You represent your father. And I got to put my glasses on, y'all. I can't see this. So hold on one second. Today I'm getting to the point where I'm going to need reading glasses. Okay. When the father saw his prodigal son, his heart went out to him. Jack Graham writes, This isn't a father who can't wait to punish his sinful son, who has written him off and wasted and worthless. This is a loving, caring father who can't wait to embrace and welcome him. He runs down the road to meet him. What you see is a picture of the father's love for you, eager, excessive, approachable, and abundant. Max Lucado adds, The tale involves a wealthy father and a willful son who takes his inheritance to Las Vegas and wastes it on slot machines and call girls. Broke and too proud to go home, he gets a job sweeping stables at the racetrack. When he finds himself eating their oats, he realizes enough is enough. Off he goes, rehearsing his repentance speech. But when he was a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion. We expect Crossed arms, furrowed brow, a guarded handshake, a stern lecture, and instead the father said, bring out the best robe, a ring, sandals, and the fetid calf. 
The ring symbolized delegated authority. The one who wore it carried on business in the name of the one who gave it. Would you have given this prodigal son the power of attorney over your matters and trusted him with your credit card? When you came to God, you were given authority to conduct business in his name. When you speak truth, you're his ambassador. As you steward finances he gives, you're his, you're his business manager. And when you proclaim forgiveness, you're his priest. He has given you the privilege to do for others what he does for you. Don't withhold encouragement or affirmation. Speak words that strengthen others. Why? Because you represent your father. And that's it. That's the devotion for December 2nd. So tomorrow I'll chat with you a little bit. And then we'll do the devotion for tomorrow. So I'm going to end it here and give you about 15 minutes of music. And then that will be it. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth Long lay the world in sin and error pining Till He appeared and the soul felt its worth
Thank you.